Um, international travel is a risk. Uh, I think we need to be uh, upfront and honest about that. Uh, if we can get the virus down to very low levels again, and we're doing really well in that regard, we're ahead of the projections at the moment in terms of getting the virus under control. Uh, the average number of weekly cases is a quarter of what it was only a few weeks ago, the positivity rate having fallen from 7% to 3 point something percent now. So very much going in the right direction. But there is a risk that as we get down to very low levels again, uh, that uh, the country could be reseeded um, by people traveling in from overseas. And in fact, probably a higher risk at the moment, people uh, engage in north-south travel, um, where a different approach is being taken in Northern Ireland, that we could be reseeded uh, from Northern Ireland. Um, probably a much higher risk than flights from Qatar, or flights from um, Miami or, 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 or wherever, but uh, a risk as well, uh, and one that we need to bear in mind, because uh, you know, Ireland, Ireland is an island, but we're not an island state. Uh, there are two jurisdictions on this island. Uh, and we're never going to close the border between North and South. So we have to bear in mind we're not in the same boat uh, as um, uh, other, other island nations might be. What we can do, though, is limit risk, not eliminate it entirely. Uh, and that's why we've opted into the European system uh, for uh, international travel. It's uh, advocated by the EU Health Commissioner. It's backed by ECDC data, so it is science-based. And that creates regions that are green and amber and red. And there will be no restrictions uh, if you're coming in from a green region. Uh, if it's an amber region, you'll need uh, a negative test before you arrive in order to avoid having to restrict your movements. Uh, and in red, um, it'll be a test. Uh, you'll have to restrict your movements, and, and you can have a test after five days, uh, after which uh, you then won't have to restrict your movements if it's negative. And we are considering what kind of legal mechanisms we need to put around that, because it's not penal. It's not uh, mandatory or enforceable. And perhaps we need to do that, and that's one of the things that we're discussing uh, at the moment. There are also a series of exemptions for healthcare workers, for diplomats, for people engaged in imperative family travel, uh, and people engaged in uh, imperative business, because those things have to go on. Um, I think in terms of people booking flights for Christmas to come home, uh, I'd advise them not to do that at the moment. I know that's difficult. I know that's tough. Um, but uh, Christmas is six weeks away. And it's too soon now, I think, for people to be uh, booking flights to come home. Thank um, you, I was watching Reeling in the Ears the other day, Ciancorla, uh, from 19, in 1967, there was a foot and mouth outbreak uh, in England. Um, people were asked not to come home, uh, and they didn't. And foot and mouth didn't come into Ireland. I'm not saying it's the same, uh, but certainly we're not in a position at this point to advise people that it's safe to come home for Christmas. And I know that's a tough message to hear, but that is the case at the moment.